Welcome, I'm Teresa Zygman, founder of Seam Sensational and creator of the Sew Like a Pro training series. And speaking of sewing, let's talk about what goes into your travel kit. And I don't care if all you know how to do is sew on a button, you want a little miniature emergency repair kit. But we're also going to cover both items, what goes in a full-fledged kit, and I carry this with me to every local show and competition as well as long distance ones. They're great to carry around. I'll tell you why as we go through. And don't worry about having to write everything down. I've created a really handy PDF for you that you can either save on your phone, your other mobile device, or print off. It makes it great for easy shopping and packing for both lists. All right, so let's talk about what's in this. For a full-fledged travel kit, if you're a seamstress and you want to be really prepared, I carry all of this stuff with me. You'll want to get a nice, sturdy cardboard box or a plastic, you know, plastic container to keep this in. For your emergency repair kit, a little canvas sack will be just fine. And I picked this one up at the thrift store for about a dollar, so you don't have to spend a lot of money on it. You'll notice I have this labeled, and um, I don't have this one labeled yet because I don't actually use this. <laughs> I bought it just to film this, but you want to write on this with a marker so that it's labeled, and you want to keep it on the shelf in the same place every time so that as you're packing in a hurry, you know exactly where it is every time. Also, keeping a label comes in handy, so if you're at a competition and you're, you know, you're down in the ballroom or in the rink and you're trying to repair your dress or someone else's dress and you yell, go get my sewing kit, they'll know, you know, whoever's helping you will know what to grab out of your bag because it's labeled. Okay, let's do the unveiling. All right, now this is whoop, gonna fall out. What all's in this sewing kit? It's packed, which is why I keep it rubber banded for extra sturdiness. Now there are two items in here that I do not keep in here all the time. My good scissors and a disappearing marker. My good scissors are heavy and I like to use them when I'm actually creating a dress, so I don't leave them in there. The magic markers tend to dry out and let's say if I don't use my sewing kit for a month or two, when I get ready to use this, it may be dried out. Now, just because, you know, getting ready to go travel is stressful, I try to minimize my stress. I keep a post-it note in here reminding me to put these two items in. Do everything you can to help yourself be efficient and to save stress. Snipper scissors, you want a pair of these. If, make sure they're sharp. If you, it comes with a little protective case, keep that. You'll want one for your basic kit, as well as your big kit, of course. A Ziploc bag of elastics, black, white, and beige, in the narrower and the wide width. Works great for when you're putting elastics over the shoulders, or if you're wearing a dress that keeps wanting to fall off your shoulders, you can run a strap across the back. Also great for men's trousers to put underneath the skate boots or the dance shoes to help hold the pants leg down so they're not always flipping up and looking weird. You want this for both kits. Um, I've gone in and cut various lengths of them. Um, you'll want it to be at least 12 inches, at least 25 to 30 centimeters so that it's long enough that you can get two shoulder elastics out of it. Okay. Um, fray check. I love fray check. It is a lightweight fabric glue. So if you snag your fabric some, put a dollop of this on it and it'll stop the hole from getting larger. Works fantastic on almost all fabrics. Seam ripper. Um, once again, the protective case on it, keep that if yours comes with it. Um, make sure it's sharp. You'll want that for both kits. Um, measuring tape. I love this guy, it's like a little miniature construction workers one. I love that they've invented this. I actually carry one of these in my purse all the time because I'm a construction worker's daughter and I'm a seamstress, so I have to have one of these. But before the days when these were invented, because that's fairly recent, I took a, this is a regular tape measure and I rolled it up really tightly and put it in a tiny Ziploc bag. And that way I could keep it tidy in here and it didn't you know, go popping out like a magical snake every time I opened my box. 
So if you don't have one of these, this will do for right now. I keep pens and pencils in here just for making notes, you know, anything, it's just practical. Um, I also keep fabric pencils in two different colors. I keep white and then either pink or blue. And for full-fledged seamstresses, you definitely want to carry multiple colors of things so that if you're marking different color dresses, you have a color that will show up. And thread conditioner. I love this. It's awesome. In the old days, I used to use beeswax to help make the thread um, slide through the fabric better, and that way I could double the thread and make it stronger and kind of bind it together with the wax. And then I think they stopped using Rills beeswax and it became a petroleum-based product, so it leaves this powdery, crumbly, icky stuff all over the fabric. I changed to thread conditioner. This is called Thread Heaven thread condition and protectant. Love it, and it's very tiny. It comes with its own little lid. Works great. I highly recommend this. For your emergency kit, this is optional. Spit works in a pinch. <laughs> Seriously. Um, Post-it notes. I keep post-it notes in just for making notes. Um, I, I keep a client file, so if I need to make extra notes that I want to make sure I notice right away, I just write on it, stick it in their folder. Oh, and an eraser, of course, for the regular, um, the street pencil as opposed to the fabric pencil. And needles. You want to keep at least three needles. Now, I have this little pack also, but for both types of kits, you want to keep at least three needles because inevitably when you're in a hurry, you're trying to sew through thick fabric, your one and only needle will break and then you will be miserable. <laughs> okay. So at least three needles. And in this little Ziploc bag, I have several things. Um, I have two types of thimbles. Um, this fellow is really interesting because it is made specifically for long fingernails. So you'll, that's my real fingernail showing. And then if you have long nails, they will stick out, but yet you still have the protectant of a thimble. This was a great invention. Um, regular thimble, of course. You don't need this for your emergency kit, but if you happen to have one laying around, it's a good idea. Because, you know, when we're working with multi, these costumes are quite often thick and you're sewing through elastics. I like to keep several needles threaded, and I just unthreaded one as I said that. I generally keep black and white already threaded so that when I'm in a hurry, I've got it good to go. It's already waxed, everything. Um, if you're not using wax, of course, just spit on it, stick it in your mouth, you know, like grandmother would have done and gone, mm. <laughs> and, and, you know, imitation wax. I also recommend going ahead and tying a knot in the bottom of it. Because when you're stressed, you're in a hurry, your elastic broke, and you got to be on the floor or on the ice in five seconds, you don't want to have to be jacking around tying a knot. So go ahead and keep this ready for you. And both kits the same on that. Another nice little invention that works fantastic for when you're sweaty or you have tanning lotion all over is this little rubber pad. It is made especially for grabbing the needles like when it gets stuck in thick fabric and you yank on it. It's just a gripper basically. Works fantastic. Um, that's a pretty good purchase and they're, they're reasonably priced. And obviously because it's so tiny, takes up almost no room. And I have a giant bag <laughs> of a variety of sizes of snaps and hooks. You want to keep this. Um, obviously for the basic kit, a little baggie this size would be perfectly fine. Um, you do not have to have black and silver, though I recommend it. And I've got multiple size hooks. So I've got the wide hooks that I would use on men's trousers. I've got hooks for the top of the zipper. I've got hooks and snaps for pretty much everything. At least give yourself a, a, you know, a, a nice variety. And that way, when you need it, all you have to do is just shuffle through it and find it. Okay. Safety pins. You definitely want to keep safety pins for both kits. For the little travel kit, once again, a small Ziploc bag of safety pins, maybe just 10 or 12 is fine. Go ahead and keep them closed. 
Um, in my box, because they're in a box and because I use them so often, I keep them open. Yes, I get stabbed every time. <laughs> every time I reach in to grab one, but you get used to it. <laughs> um, but it makes it so much faster when I'm doing a fitting or for an emergency. So it's your call, open or close. One thing though, as you're um, using your safety pins, like every few competitions or shows, replenish this. Because especially for the emergency repair kit where you may only have 10 or 12, I would replenish it when you get home every time. Because you don't want to get there and go, oh, I'm a, I only have one safety pin and I need three. So it's a good idea to make sure you restock. I also keep straight pins in this handy little box, which is actually the box they came in. <laughs> it works great. Once again, I use these for fittings. You do not need this for an emergency repair kit, unless you have a voodoo doll or something. Um, lastly, thread. You wanna carry a variety of threads. Now, I typically carry black, white, beige, always. And then red and blue are common colors in the ballroom world. I also like to carry a transparent thread. It's a little tougher to work with because it's coarse and it kind of boings, you know, it doesn't cooperate as well, but it looks great on pretty much any color dress. So it's very versatile. And then whatever other color you are, let's say if you're wearing magenta, put a magenta thread in and that way, should something happen to your own dress, you're ready to go. Now for your emergency repair kit, get little miniature ones. <laughs> and that way you don't have to take up a whole lot of space. If you've got room and it's no big deal, just throw in what you've got. But otherwise, grab little miniature ones. They'll still last you a really long time. And the miniature ones can go in the emergency repair kit. I recommend black and white only for that or whatever color you're wearing. If you're wearing green, throw in green. Um, but if you need flesh colored, elastics or flesh colored thread, handy little tip. Take um, a woman's foundation or your tanning mousse and then you can make white thread beige. You can make it flesh tone or you can also do the same thing with the elastics. So if you happen to not have beige elastics, you can always fake it and just camouflage the white elastics. I think that is everything for this sewing kit. It really does fit back in there, honest. <laughs> But um, yeah, that's it, we've covered it. You know what you need, just send me your name and email address and I will send you the links. And meanwhile, I hope you've enjoyed this. Please tell a friend and also leave me a comment below. Especially leave me a comment if you put something in your travel kit that I have not listed here because I really like to know of new things that may be more efficient and take up less space. That's it for now. I'll see you next time. I'm signing off. Thank you so much.